we're going to need our AIs to actually figure things out for themselves and to discover new things that humans don't know. This is sometimes called the bitter lesson of AI. Mm. We really want to believe that all of the knowledge that we've accumulated as humans is really important. What you're about to see isn't science fiction. It's the future of robotics, and it's happening right now. Google DeepMind just dropped a bombshell, Gemini Robotics, an AI system so advanced it can perform complex, real-world tasks with no prior training. Fold paper, pack lunches, play games, react in real time. These aren't pre-programmed moves, and these robots are thinking on the fly. Powered by DeepMind's Gemini 2.0, this new AI isn't just smart, it's adaptable, interactive, and shockingly human-like. In this video, we're breaking down how Gemini Robotics is mastering the physical world, and why this update might be the biggest leap in AI robotics history. Let's dive in. So, what exactly is Gemini Robotics, and why is it such a game-changer? At its core, Gemini Robotics is built on Gemini 2.0, DeepMind's most powerful multimodal AI model to date. But this isn't just software, it's the brain behind a new generation of robots that can see, listen, understand, and act all at once. This system fuses vision, language, and action into one unified intelligence. That means a robot can look at its environment, hear a command from a human, and instantly figure out what to do, even if it's never encountered that situation before. This is called generality, and it's one of Gemini's most groundbreaking features. In tests, it more than doubled the performance of other leading models when faced with brand new tasks. No extra training, no manual programming, just pure, real-time reasoning. Imagine telling a robot, spell a word using these tiles, or pack this lunchbox with snacks. It doesn't just follow a script, it reasons through the problem, identifies the right actions, and completes the task intuitively. This is the first time we've seen robots generalize like this, performing flexible tasks in dynamic environments with human-like understanding. It's not just smarter AI, it's real-world intelligence. Now, let's talk about something that separates Gemini Robotics from nearly every robot before it. Interactivity. It's one thing for a robot to complete a task, it's another for it to understand you, adapt to your instructions, and respond like a collaborative partner. That's what Gemini Robotics does, and it does it in real time. This isn't rigid, pre-programmed automation. Thanks to Gemini 2.0's advanced language understanding, these robots can interpret natural human speech, even complex, shifting instructions, and adjust their behavior on the fly. Picture this, you say, Put the bottle on the fridge. Then you change your mind. Wait, put it in the sink instead. A traditional robot would freeze or fail. Gemini, it processes the new instruction instantly, reassesses its environment, and adjusts its movement accordingly, smoothly, naturally. That level of fluid interaction has never been seen at this scale. We're talking about robots that can listen, comprehend, and respond to multi-step voice commands, adapt to changes in their surroundings without crashing, steer their behavior in real time, even in unpredictable conditions, but it goes deeper. Gemini Robotics doesn't just listen, it communicates. It can explain what it's doing, ask clarifying questions, or provide reasoning behind its actions. This unlocks a level of collaboration between humans and machines that's been until now purely theoretical. For example, in live demos, Gemini-powered robots were shown engaging in activities like playing tic-tac-toe against a human by visually scanning the board and reasoning through the next move, responding to abstract requests like arrange something from a deck of cards, and correctly spelling out the word A-C-E using letter tiles, packing lunchboxes by identifying objects as food or non-food, planning placement, and using force control to handle them appropriately. These aren't gimmicks. These are demonstrations of true embodied intelligence, the kind that bridges the gap between digital AI and real-world robotics. It's the beginning of co-working robots, machines that can team up with humans on assembly lines, in hospitals, in homes, and do so with context awareness and social responsiveness. And what powers this whole transformation is Gemini's ability to see, understand, and speak the language of the physical world. This isn't just AI talking back, this is AI understanding and working with you. If generality and interactivity are the brains and social skills of Gemini Robotics, then dexterity is its muscle, and it's unlike anything we've ever seen in robotics. For years, one of the biggest limitations of robots was their inability to perform precise, multi-step physical tasks in the real world. Even with powerful AI, they lacked the motor control and fine-tuned manipulation required to handle complex, delicate objects. That's all changed with Gemini. With Gemini Robotics, DeepMind has engineered a new level of physical intelligence, one that gives robots the power to fold paper, pack snacks into a Ziploc bag, unscrew a bottle cap, or gently pick up a coffee mug with a two-fingered grip. These are not simple motions, these are tasks that require 
require spatial awareness, controlled pressure, sequential reasoning, and adaptability, all working in sync. And here's the incredible part, the same brain, the same Gemini robotics model, can operate across multiple robot bodies. From humanoid platforms like Aptronic to dual arm manipulators like Aloha 2, the intelligence is not locked to the hardware, it's transferable. This concept is known as multi-embodiment capability, and it means the AI isn't just smart, it's universally deployable. That's where Gemini Robotics ER, or Embodied Reasoning, enters the picture. This upgrade gives robots not just control, but cognition. They don't just perform actions, they reason about them in context. Imagine placing a variety of objects in front of a robot. Utensils, boxes, a bottle, a soft item, and a fragile one. Gemini Robotics ER doesn't just guess what to do, it evaluates the situation. What is each object? What is its shape, weight, and fragility? What grip is safest? Where should it be moved, and how should it be handled? Using 3D perception pointing detection, and contextual learning, the robot figures it out, just like a human would. It sees, it decides, it acts. And this intelligence isn't static. Gemini Robotics ER is designed to learn in real time. If a robot sees a human demonstrate a task just once, it can replicate it using a process called in-context learning. It observes, it identifies patterns, it generalizes instantly. But DeepMind didn't stop at power and performance. They knew that if robots are going to move through our homes, our workplaces, and our cities, they need something even more important than strength or smarts, safety. That's why DeepMind introduced what they call the Robot Constitution, a set of built-in ethical frameworks inspired by the legendary science fiction writer Isaac Asimov's Laws of Robotics. These rules aren't just theoretical, they're embedded into the AI's reasoning process. Gemini's safety system is layered and dynamic. It includes collision avoidance, limits on contact force, and real-time evaluation of whether an action is safe to perform. Every decision goes through a filter that balances effectiveness with safety, using benchmarks and training data designed to minimize risk. And to make this safety system scalable and transparent, DeepMind released the Asimov dataset, a massive new resource designed to help AI developers test and measure robot behavior across real-world scenarios. This dataset isn't just about protecting the user, it's about creating AI that respects human values, follows ethical constraints, and adapts to complex social environments. What we're witnessing with Gemini Robotics isn't just an evolution in machine capability, it's a redefinition of what robots are and what they're capable of. They're not just tools anymore. They're autonomous partners that can reason, adapt, and interact, all while respecting the boundaries we set. For the first time, robots aren't just moving. They're thinking, choosing, and behaving, with purpose, with precision, and with principles. The pace at which Gemini Robotics is evolving raises important questions, not just about what robots can do, but about how we, as a society, will adapt alongside them. This isn't just about technological innovation, it's about social transformation. As robots begin to navigate our homes and workplaces with human-like perception and decision-making, we'll have to reconsider the boundaries of collaboration, trust, and responsibility. Will we treat these machines as tools, teammates, or something else entirely? At the same time, the line between digital and physical intelligence is blurring faster than anyone anticipated. Robots that once required rigid environments and endless pre-programming are now capable of contextual reasoning and intuitive movement. They're learning from us, responding to our cues, and in many cases outperforming human expectations. That leap, from code to cognition, signals a fundamental shift in how machines participate in our world. And while the technology is undeniably exciting, it also demands thoughtful dialogue around ethics, governance, and long-term impact. But perhaps the most groundbreaking aspect of Gemini Robotics isn't just what it can do, it's how naturally it fits into human environments. These machines aren't confined to labs or factories anymore. They're entering kitchens, classrooms, and hospitals, spaces where adaptability, emotional intelligence, and ethical awareness are just as critical as functionality. The real-world fluency of these robots could redefine what it means to have intelligent support systems embedded in everyday life. Still, with all this progress comes the need for global coordination. As robots gain agency and decision-making power, regulation must evolve just as quickly. Developers, governments, and communities will need to work together to build frameworks that ensure safety, fairness, and accountability. Because in a world where machines can act independently, the most important question won't just be, what can they do, but what should they be allowed to do? So, where do we go from here? The release of Gemini Robotics marks just the beginning of a new era in AI-powered machines. While we've seen robots evolve from simple tools to complex systems, 
What we're witnessing with Gemini is a leap into a future where robots are intelligent, adaptable, and ethical partners in our daily lives. In the coming years, we can expect robots like Gemini to take on even more sophisticated tasks, whether it's assisting in surgery, helping with elderly care, or even collaborating on creative projects. The potential applications of this technology are virtually limitless. The real kicker? Gemini's capability to learn from human interaction means that as the robots are deployed in more real-world settings, they'll continuously improve. The longer they're in use, the smarter, more intuitive, and capable they become. The scope for innovation is immense, 